Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marines Primaris Tech Marine. One of these models will set you back £23.50. It's £10.50 more than a normal Space Marine Tech Marine and it's also only £2 cheaper than a standard Space Marine Tech Marine uh, with four servitors. We'll be having a look at those uh, later on in the uh, comparison part of the review. It's a lot of money, there's no doubt. Um, these single character Primera Space Marines, everything from the uh, Apothecary to the Chaplain uh, to this Tech Marine, they're expensive. It's a monopose kit, uh, but it's also multi-part. Uh, you get a a very small handful of uh, spare parts and uh, I'll talk about those in a moment too but firstly let's have a look at the detail of this model um, fir first things first the box is absolutely stunning um, lovely lovely box I uh, love the new design I love the battlefield that they're on um, it's a really really good product uh, the only thing missing really obviously is, is a paint card um, you know they, they forfeit that with this thumbnail where that space they could have put the reds and the blues and things, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure what these are sort of advertising. Like maybe that's advertising that it's got an instruction guide in it. But for painting, you've got to go there. And then for gaming, you've got to go there. I guess that's that's what it is. But as you can see, you get a couple of options. You get a, a grab pistol, which isn't on the box. And I, I think it should have been. Uh, you get a helmetless head. Uh, option and if you notice that the, if you've got the grab pistol the holster is empty if you if he's not holding it the holster is um, full and also the servo arm is in a different position uh, with the arm outstretched servo arm uh, is parallel to his arm so I would have liked uh, a different tip to the axe uh, maybe a different shape or something like that so you could mix and match them if they had a different axe I would have bought another one Put it that way and that's just something to to think about um so let's have a look at the the detail itself on this model it's a fantastic looking model i really like the look and feel of it uh you've got this big uh, claw coming from the um servo harness uh, you've got the servo arm there it's got a little drill in it as well there's plenty of detail the mold lines are yeah um difficult just on the front of the legs and on the servo arm itself and on on the axe you're going to have a bit of a hard time with uh, these uh, mold lines on this model i'll tell you that um but i like the the snaking uh, claw macadendrite thing coming off of there the heavy bolter looks all right it's a very short stubby heavy bolter i would have liked a, a similar melter gun type weapon even if it was a melter gun not a multi-melter and um, that would have been great uh, and that would have captured the feel of a, of a tech marine rather than this anti-infantry uh, weaponry i like the attention to detail that there is a there is no pistol in the uh, holster and likewise i do like the look of this it almost looks like an upgraded grav pistol like a heavy grav pistol a bit like they've got the absolver bolt bolt pistols um the axe is nice i would have liked more of a, a blade to it a bit of a longer blade um but overall it, it works uh, well and they've even given you given you a bit of a scenic base there uh with it looks like the side of a tank maybe a rhino or something um or even just a armor paneling but there you go that's the model itself let's go through these spare parts then uh, these are all of them uh, no less than five spare parts you get the different um attachment here for the uh, servo arm you get uh, that arm outstretched uh, so you, you get their panned but even the hand and the uh, wrist has, uh, have, has got a little pit boy 5000 on there in terms of a gauge and some buttons uh, which is a nice feature you've got uh, this holster with a pistol inside you can't really see what pistol it is but we're guessing it's a grav pistol and then you get the arm and um, part of the arm that's outstretched and then finally you get the different head um, so you can opt for this one, which is uh, still pretty cool. Uh, it's sort of a half human, half uh, mech head with like a adamantium skull or something with them, um, you know, tubes going into. Let me see if I can zoom in better for that. There you go. And um, so, yeah, as you can see, it's got like a grill. It's got the, the tubes going in there, um, you know, sunken eye socket uh, with this big targeting array or sensor. Um, really cool, whichever head you go for. Um, it's going to look amazing. I guess maybe this one would probably fit it um, better, but there's just something about the, uh, you know, these these uh, 
these layered features of the helmet that um, you know that appeals to me. They're the spare parts. Let's have a look at some size comparisons. Okay, so the first thing you can go for is the normal Space Marine Tech Marine, uh, which costs you two pounds more, which looks very cool, especially if you put it on a 32 mil base, of course. Um, but mine's very old, uh, and I've just dropped it and broken it, and yeah, so I've had to super glue some parts because it's metal. These are all metal. Uh, for a while they made them in uh, fine cast but it comes with uh, four stooges four servitors and um, yeah packs quite a punch both in, in combat and in range and of course can repair certain things that's the first comparison i'd like to make hopefully it doesn't break when i touch it but yeah very heavy model lots going on if you drop it yeah it's like a bomb going off but yeah size wise primaris is a little bit taller uh, than your, your normal sort of Space Marine Tech Marine, but still an absolutely awesome model. Lots going on. Yeah, very busy, of course, um, but he is a Tech Marine. Uh, then the other Tech Marine I'd like to sort of draw your attention to is this fella who comes with the Thunderfire Cannon. Um, and again, size wise, a little bit shorter, but still an awesome looking model. And yeah, that paint job though, right? That paint job. Yeah, amazing. Um, yeah. And here's the Thunderfire Cannon 2. Uh, I might put it on a base, I'm not sure, I'm thinking about it, but there we go. That's the, the Thunderfire Cannon uh, with this uh, Tech Marine. And that one is actually 36 pounds. It's, it's pretty expensive. I mean, nowadays it comes in the fine cast and I think I do actually own uh, one of these in fine cast. I think, somewhere, somewhere about. Anyway, I thought I'd make that comparison with some of my Tech Marines, I've got a few more. Uh, banging around somewhere but uh, yeah that's a, a sort of a tech marine comparison there comparing him to uh, normal sort of space marines i say normal uh, you've got a legacy space marine on the left uh, slime marble in the middle and then an intercessor on on the right intercessor wise it's important to note that they are yeah exactly the same height if you can see that so um, he's not going to look out of place at all, um, surrounded by a bunch of intercessors or around uh, Primaris vehicles. Okay, so you've now entered uh, this part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Primaris uh, Tech Marine. He is an HQ choice and he is a power points cost of a 4 and a points cost of 80, which means he's 10 points more than the normal Tech Marine. He's equipped with a Forge Bolter, Grav Pistol, Omniscient Power Axe, servo arm, mechadendrite, frag grenades and crack grenades. His stat line reads, he's a movement of six inches, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill two plus, strength four, toughness four, five wounds, four attacks, leadership eight and a save of two plus. Super, how does this compare to the previous normal legacy Space Marine Tech Marine? Well, he's been given one extra wound with five and one extra attack with four. Also, he's been given that forge bolter and a grav pistol, which the normal Tech Marine just doesn't come with. So what do these weapons do then? Well, the Forge Bolter, it's a 24 inch range, Assault 3, Strength 5, AP minus 1 and Damage 2. Each time the bearer shoots, it can make attacks with this weapon, even if it also makes attacks with pistols or grenades. That's fantastic. So it's firing off the three shots at 24 inch range and also the Grab Pistol, which is a 12 inch range, Pistol 1 weapon. It's a Strength 5, AP minus 3 and a Damage of 1. Each time an attack made with this weapon is allocated to a model with a save characteristic of 3 plus or better, that attack has a damage characteristic of 2. Amazing. So if you're going up against like Space Marines or whatnot, then you've got a damage of 2 with it. And the AP minus 3 certainly helps. The Mechadendrite is a strength plus 1, so that's strength 5, AP 0, damage 1. Each time the bearer fights, it makes 2 additional attacks with this weapon. So you're getting 2 extra attacks there with the Mechadendrite. Now, the Omniscient Power Axe. It's a strength plus two, AP minus two, and a damage of two. It's exactly the same as a normal Tech Marine Power Axe. The Servo Arm, it's another melee weapon. It's a strength times two, AP minus two, and a damage of three. Each time the bearer fights, no more than one attack can be made with each Servo Arm. Again, works exactly the same as Tech Marine Servo Arm. So you're getting one kind of power fist attack, I guess, uh, with the Servo Arm. So you're getting four attacks with the Omniscient Power Axe, two attacks with the mechadendrite or you can use the four attacks and have it as uh, eight normal attacks and then you're getting the servo arm attack too so yeah pretty decent in close combat although his weapon skill is only three plus abilities this is where he really shines angels of death 
Then he has a blessing of the Omnissiah. At the end of your movement phase, this model can repair one friendly vehicle model within three inches of it. That vehicle model regains up to D3 lost wounds. Each model can only be repaired once per turn. It works exactly the same as the blessing of the Omnissiah with a normal Tech Marine. So if you want to save money and save points and you just want to be repairing your vehicles, the normal Tech Marine is a way to go. Although they both cost the same power points. Final ability is Awaken the Machine Spirits. In your command phase, this model can awaken one friendly chapter vehicle model within three inches of it. Until the start of your next command phase, each time that vehicle model makes a ranged attack, add one to that attack's hit roll. Each model can only be awakened once per turn. Still pretty good though. If you've got a vehicle that has only got a ballistic skill of three plus or four plus, maybe even five plus, then you're awakening that machine spirit and you're adding one whenever you, you hit. Uh, again, a normal Tech Marine has this rule too. And I always wished that Tech Marines had something like this and I'm pleased that they finally do. Keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, Infantry, Character, Primaris, Tech Marine. So there you go. It's an expensive mini, but it's awesome looking. He's got a number of ranged uh, attacks and a number of melee attacks, and he buffs a load of vehicles. So if you're running him next to dreadnoughts or artillery or any kind of vehicle, it's worth having him nearby. They really are. If you're bringing any kind of vehicles, they really are becoming a must uh, purchase for your HQ choice. I, I'm very happy that they've brought out Primaris Tech Marine. And I think uh, that it brings just enough to make it worth uh, the while, worth the trade-off. You know, the Forge Bolter, you get a nice buff to the range. The Grav Pistol, again, can deal with uh, MEQs. Likewise, the normal Tech Marine does have the Plasma Cutter to deal with armoured foes. But the Primaris has that extra wound and has that extra attack, uh, which might just give you the edge. And of course, it's going to look great with all of your other um, Primaris characters. What do you guys think of this Primaris Tech Marine? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protect.